I think YouTube finna suspend us. Can we talk about some real shit? Hey. I'm gonna keep it a bean with y'all. Four bats, I'm on to you. They've put Big Ack on the case. Everybody wanna know, are you a fucking industry plant? All right? The songs sound good. But nigga... Niggas could only find three songs in the entire history and Drake is on one of them. That's suspect. For your fucking nails. It is fire on TikTok though. I ain't gonna lie. You running out of shoes to wear. Woo! So I bought you another pair. Hey, I gotta speed it up because you're on YouTube. You Woo! So bring your ass up on them stairs. Yeah. Now, if you guys don't know, let me give you the update. So four bats. Some guy who came out of the blue. Now, I'm going to keep it a bean with y'all. Y'all know, listen, Big Act, hey, this is what I was telling Meek. Meek, you can't win against me, nigga. Because when you was on them labels, all them labels come to me. Feel me? We run a, a particular arm of the promotion. That's just how it works. I'm sorry to tell you, you could be mad, but that's what it is. You feel me? All these artists I beef with, sometimes I beef with them, and I just invoice their label afterwards. It be like that. I will say this. And I, I was talking to somebody, like one of the fans who be tuned in. I said, there is something interesting about this four bats motherfucker. Now I ain't going to say they're not fire. Sometimes, and this is the thing about industry plants. Sometimes the industry plant is fire. I used to think, you know, I had, let me just say, I had industry plant suspicions about Moray. But remember Moray? He was fire. Industry plant don't mean you're whack. Industry plant only means how the fuck did this motherfucker get from A to B that quickly unless it was scripted to be there? Okay, so let's talk. So four bats. I remember getting sent a couple of four bats like, you know, a little promo post. One of them, I know I particularly got involved in that, that thread. And I said, ah, can't do it. I just had a legal situation with some group. We had to pay them actually hundreds of thousands of dollars. Yay. Yeah, it's a big thing. We can't do it. And interestingly enough, the group that was representing Fort Bat said, oh, actually, this is a fake video. It's a not real video. So we just made it look real by having everything you would normally see but it's not a real video and i was like huh i said hey just to remind y'all we've been through some legal shit we can't do this they said no okay we know who you've been through the legal shit with and yes they own a lot of people's rights but this isn't that and i was like how do you mean then everything became crystallized there was a campaign done and i'm not blaming him 
It was a campaign done by people associated with him to create a somewhat authentic looking video of people co-signing him. Yet it wasn't completely organic. And I was like, whoa, that, that's, that's kind of sinister. That's kind of cynical. Lo and behold, like two or three months later, this nigga got saw with Drake and everybody's saying he's the biggest, newest hit song maker for the foreseeable future. And based on what he does, it's so unique. Now, I, I got to give you a little bit of history or from what I've seen. I do like Four Bass Voice, but if you look him up, there's a shtick to Four Bats. He's a nigga who looks like he's a hood nigga with hood friends, except he's singing R&B. And let me speed this up again. You're trying not to get um. This look like a nigga who's gonna rap, rap about killing you or I'm smoking on your ops. You know what I mean? Fuck all the ops. Except when the beat drop is like this. Look, he's over here with all gun finger, the trigger finger. Niggas have their shirt off like it's Chief Keef. I get it. <laughs> Pouring out like liquor, like shit. Y'all know I got my henny. I don't even like, like to some of the ops that I've killed their career. I don't even like them that much to, to waste my henny. I got to keep the henny in stock. But they're doing it. She like. Boy, go find someone. Find someone you love. Girl, I can't find no one because you. So the vibe instantly changes from, oh, I'm this big killer to, oh, no, no. Like, we're just vibing. Now, I'm going to be honest with you. I think this is all scripted. Just being honest. Scripted. You don't understand. It's so hard. It's not only one song. You could go to the other songs and you're going to get the same type of tone. This was the one that Drake is on. Let me speed this up a little bit more. The fuck? Here we go. Press because you know I care. But you know you love it here. That's why you keep on coming there. Now, I've been going down this rabbit hole for a thing for a minute. What's important to know is that not because you're talented means you can't be an uh, industry plant. An industry plant these days simply means that there is a road paved to success. There is a essential blueprint of how you're going to make it rather than, hey, we're going off organic shit. And people people might be like, well, isn't that what the whole music industry is? No, it's not. No, it's not at all. Okay? Yeah, he had a bunch of songs. You running out of shoes to wear. So I bought you another pair. You running out of shoes to wear. Okay, okay, okay. Uh I'm not fucking with it like that, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you. I ain't gonna lie to you. All right? Um, give me one second. So, the best place to find out if somebody's an industry plant is Twitter. Four bats. Okay. Got a text at 2.30 in the morning from my guy, Speedy. Shout out to Speedy More. Want to know my thoughts on four back. Bed sleeping. Got a text at 2.30 in the morning from my guy, Speedy. Shout out to Speedy More. Want to know my thoughts on four bats and whether I thought he was an industry plant because, you know, him getting a Kanye cosign and a Drake feature on the Day That Eight remix just three songs into his career is crazy. It's a lot. If you don't know, four bats is a te Dallas, Texas singer, wears a shiesty, looks more like a rapper, but sounds like Ralph Tresvant or New Edition's Cool It Now. If you know me and you follow me, you know, I've said this before, I don't believe in the concept of an industry plant plan to me wrong is just good marketing if you're an up and wrong 
coming artists, why wouldn't you want to align yourself with people who know how the music industry work? It's been reported. Rob Marman, I fuck with you and I wouldn't disrespect you, but I'm going to be honest with you. The, the, the idea of an industry plant absolutely exists. An artist that has skated by without people understanding their general rise or come up. However, they're coming out of the gate with some of the biggest cosigns possible that we do know is important. Yes, that's a problem. What did that for about his manager works in the major label system, though he isn't signed, right? You know, to me, why wouldn't you? Now, th that's a good point. So the the manager of four bats apparently works at RCA. That doesn't mean as much as people might think it means to me. A lot of these people that end up signing these artists are sometimes NRs. Maybe they got a little bit of money and, and they're like, oh, I'll pay for this, this, and third, but now I'm not your A&R anymore. I'm moving like your manager. So I necessarily wouldn't think, um, you know, people look at it like that. Anyway. You want to take the time to perfect your sound, perfect your look, strategize a rollout before you present to the people. I think so often now people feel like we got to see artists get it from the mud and we got to see the struggle. And it's really just about there's so much music out. Can you put out a good song and, and can you present it in a way that's interesting to people? And they're doing that. Plus, I don't know very many up and coming artists who, who will tell Drake, hey, no, I only have three songs out. It looks crazy if I get the feature now. No, you take the feature and then you figure the rest out. I think the more important question to ask rather than if he's an industry plant is how does his voice sound how does he sound live because because being on that stage is wrong um with all due respect to you rob markman travis scott does not sound the same way he sounds that for a decade his his travis scott's vocal it was completely lab built that's the reality of it point for career building and can he consistently put out these hits he, he has everybody's attention now but now the consistency is what's really going to define point. his career that's a good point will he stay consistent um i think he'll stay consistent but he has to be him this is the music business, man. Nobody's trying to give you a chance. Nobody wants to, like, you know, feel bad for you. Like, you have to almost, like, push the envelope and be like, yo, I'm here. And that's when people kind of respect you a little bit more, okay? Hmm, let me see what else. Um, Then I think that we have to give kudos to the industry because the— This thing looks like PNB Rock a little bit. I was like, what the fuck? People are saying— Text at 2.30 in the morning from my guy, Speedy. Shout out to Speedy Moore. I want to know. Hmm. That do look like somebody is. How many monthly listeners do they. Wait, four bats has. What? Yes, 9.7. That's the Drake effect then. What? Four bats. Mm. It, re it reminds me a little subtle on a tip like um the weekend except I, I don't think the weekend even cares to like indulge in certain bullshit and that's where i probably have him wrong holy shit uh there was just on twitter called him industry plans he ended up with a drake feature okay that makes sense somebody said his manager has little do to do with it Four Bats is not signed to rca it doesn't matter if they're signed to rca you can leverage relationships nor does rca no it doesn't matter um, okay, people been going down a rabbit hole. He's three for three right now. We need an album. And somebody says it's fire, but his whole sound was copy and pasted from this hook. Basically, somebody says Brent Fires. Somebody says Cap, Folksman, 
saying he sounded like Brent, but his entire to say his entire sound was copy and pasted is from a hook as wild. So when it says not that wild when you have three songs and nine monthly listeners. Hmm. That's kinda interesting. Where are these old videos coming from? And now we're choosing not to be your friend. When you ask me, I'll just say I are they saying this is Kai tonight? All right, no, nah, niggas is tripping. Yo, AI is at work, people. What the fuck? AI is at work. Please be careful. 